If you're planning a trip to the Texas coast this summer, you'll want to keep an eye out for sea turtle nests. Yeah, lots of folks, lots of folks are heading down there to catch a turtle hatchling release this summer. Joining us this morning from South Padre Island is Wendy Knight from Sea Turtle Inc. Good morning to you, Wendy. I mean, just look at the shot behind you. It's even <laughs> beautiful to start off this Sunday morning, but lots going on. Fill us in what's happening right now. Good morning. Uh, well, welcome to Sea Turtle Inc. It is bright and early here on the South Texas coast and me and a few hundred of my friends are out on the beach watching a release of more than 100 baby sea turtles. And Wendy, talk about, uh, you know, the importance you, you told us just now uh, over 100 you're releasing this morning, but in total this season, 1300. What is the importance uh, of Sea Turtles Inc. and helping uh, these hatchlings uh, survive the environment out there? Sure, so Sea Turtle Inc. is focused on the conservation, rehabilitation, and education of endangered sea turtles. So all sea turtles are part of the endangered species list. Um, and everything we do here is to help perpetuate that uh, population, to keep them safe, and this time of year to protect the eggs until they become little tiny turtles and are ready to return to the water. Wow. And that's exactly, we're looking at video right now, but that's what's happening right now at this very moment and why people are so gathered around just interested in this. How long does this process take, Wendy? It depends on how many we're releasing today. It's about 120. Uh, so that could take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Yesterday, we released almost 400. That took more like 45 minutes to an hour. But nowhere else can you have this experience but with us here at Sea Turtle Inc. So if you're planning a family vacation coming down to South Padre Island and seeing the turtles is a great way to spend your time. And Wendy, conservation is so important uh, right now, especially with those endangered uh, sea turtles. Uh, what would you like people to know, maybe not today when uh, people are there just to visit, but you know, you see uh, one on the beach when you're, you know, this summer. So if you see a sea turtle on the beach, there's probably something wrong and you should call your emergency sea turtle line. Uh, so. You can reach us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will always respond and come out. Um, but the most important thing you can do is enjoy our beaches. But when you leave, make sure it doesn't look like you were ever there. So fill in your holes, take all your trash and your picnic apparatuses with you and take your memories, but leave your don't leave your things behind. Yes, that's very important. And we just said we can all do our part. You know, even just taking those reusable bags to the grocery store. I mean, any little bit helps, right, Wendy? It does, and you don't have to live near the beach. So simple decisions like carrying reusable straws or using, like you said, reusable grocery bags at the grocery store, all of those things have a significant impact on our marine life and our sea turtles. So you can do your part, even if you're not beachfront and at the ocean. And Wendy, we, we only have a short amount of time left. Tell us, uh, tell our viewers right now, if they want to get down there and see y'all in action and see the little turtles coming back in the ocean, how, when can they do that? Now is the time. <laughs> Nesting season runs all the way through the 1st of September. So you can come visit us six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday at Sea Turtle Inc. See our hospital, see our patients and all the work we're doing. And while you're here, if you're lucky, you'll get to see baby sea turtles released back into the ocean. Wow. And what a yeah. sight to see. Wendy, we appreciate your time so much this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You too. Take care. And as Wendy mentioned, I mean, if you see one, you certainly want to call an official and let them know because you certainly don't want to get too involved there, right? Well, that's sure true. That and so many okay. people might want to take a picture. Uh, and that's like Wendy said, it's just uh, make the phone call to that number.